a really good week. Um, so this week what we're going to be doing is what is your person feeling about you? What are their emotions for you? What are at the forefront of their heart? What do they feel about you? So nice one for you guys today. Deck number one and deck number two. What I need you to do is pick the deck that you are most drawn to. And as you get drawn to that deck, I want you to feel your emotions for your person, really going through your heart energy. And from your heart energy, I want you to push it into the deck that you are most drawn to. If you can't feel the energy pushing in, I just need you to visualize a rose gold pink color going to the deck that you are most drawn to. Now what's happening at this moment in time is that we're getting all of your energies and you're pushing them into the, into the decks so it can pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, it could be that you're not part of that strongest mutual energy. Okay, so I've also got the Lenormand out as well, so we can do a little bit of a mixture of the tarot and the Lenormand and see what spirits say. I'm a psychic medium, uh, the cards are really just my tool. What I do is I channel the spirits, see what they say, uh, see what the cards say, and we get the overall picture of what's going on. Okay, deck one. So, can you get me into everyone's energy, please? Everyone watching, deck number one. Uh, all videos are timeless, so if you're watching this further down the line, that is completely cool as well because your future energy will still be in the deck. How neat is that that's how psychics work you know we tap into the past present and future uh, think about your person for me can we get into the person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes so the first thing that's coming through my right ear which is a higher level energy which will be a ascended master angel a uh, higher vibrational guide. It's a song. You know how they love giving you guys songs. It's Avril Lavigne, Anything But Ordinary. I don't know if you guys ever remember that. I was at school when she was out. Um, I used to absolutely love her. But the lyrics of that um, are talking about the connection that you two share and how it isn't an ordinary connection, how there's more to it than meets the eye. Possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to start off with your lemon mark. We're doing it the opposite way. Okay, so I'm just going to switch the energies into these. Fabulous. Okay, what is the collective energy on people's feelings? What are they feeling about the people watching? Okay, I've got another song um, and it's taught, I can't, I don't actually know who sings this, but it says, uh, take me to the, it's something about taking me to the banks of the river or something along those lines is coming out. What are they thinking about their person watching? Let me just get one more. Oh, there we go. Okay, oh. Oh, okay. These are these are all right. These are all right. So Lenama is very different from Tarot. It has very direct answers, very blunt answers. Um, it tells us specifically what it is that you need to know. Now, your person's feelings about you, what they are feeling about you. The first thing that's coming forward is this need for communication. Okay, so there is this need to communicate what they are feeling for you. There is this need to communicate their emotions towards you. It could come in the form of text message, WhatsApp, Facebook. Instagram, social media, but there is a need for them to communicate with you. And what they are wanting to communicate with you is also about their emotions, okay? And this is um, the male energy. Now, with Lenormand, you always have a male and a female. Um, that's how the cards work. But remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific. So your male could be your female. It's basically the person that you are thinking about. Okay, so there is communication wanting to come in from your person. And this communication is going to be talking about emotions. Now, they are looking to the future and hoping that there is a potential future between the two of you. You are next in line for this, so here's your partnership coming forward, and you have the female looking towards the male. So you are, might feel that you are waiting for this communication to happen and not much is really going on, but at the same time you're looking towards them and thinking hurry up. They are looking towards you thinking I'm going to communicate. You are looking potentially a little bit about stuff that has happened in the past. Your person is looking about stuff that will be happening in the future and very much feeling this need to communicate communicate with you about their emotions okay so there's this need to talk to you really really spirit is saying it's quite a desperate need to communicate whether it's talking about feelings whether it's talking about emotions or whether it's just wanting to communicate with you there is a desperate need for your person to want to speak to you okay um some of them are going to want to talk about stuff that has happened in the past okay 
some of them will um some of them won't <laughs> so it's kind of a mix up between you guys if the shit hit the fan before some of you guys your person is going to want to communicate about that but it's more that you guys watching are wanting to communicate about stuff that's happened in your past your person is wanting to communicate about where the future is going from there you'll like this one from there you have this level of commitment coming in so your person really is looking towards you and the future and wanting to offer you this level of commitment that you desire and that you deserve and um, they are wanting to do that you are also wanting the same thing the woman is wanting commitment okay so it looks like this communication that's coming forward is going to be slightly more than what it has been before they're going to come towards you with some form of offer now with that there is a warning that is coming with this and this is the fox OK, the fox stands for sneaky, snidey, can be a little bit underhanded. OK, so when your person comes towards you and it makes you this offer of communication and communicating about their emotions, just be a little bit on guard with it. Just be a little bit cautious, err on the side of caution, because the fox can sometimes be a little bit of a deception. It could be that they are masking their real emotions for you. It could be telling you what they want. You want uh, could be telling you what you want to hear so that they can get you into the place that they need you so just be a little bit careful about this their emotions for you are very very deep okay but that your person hasn't had a personality transplant so if this has happened before please uh, just be wary of it err on the side of caution but it does look like this communication is coming forward to you about the commitment but we're just going to say um, just be a little bit careful with the fox sticking over here, okay? Again, he's looking towards you. Your fox will be looking towards you. Look into this level of commitment that they can offer you. Uh, potentially with that, there could be a little bit of backtracking in this communication as well, that they can say to you, oh yeah, let's be together. Everything's going to be great, great. Everything's going to be perfect. But actually, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. I might go a bit ghost on you again. So your communication from your person is coming forward. Um, it's going to be a communication of emotions for the majority of you, telling you how they feel, wanting to offer you a bit more than what they have done to date, giving you that sense of commitment, but just err on the side of caution with it. Okay, just be a little bit wary. A bit wary. Okay, so that is your lemon man. Let me just stick them at the top so we know where we're going. Do -do, do -do, do -do. Okay, let's do your tarot. So what is that person currently feeling about them? I love the way Lenomar is so blunt and it is so direct. I do it a lot on the single email questions uh, because you guys want quite the answers in an email. The Lenomar is very, very good for getting you the answers that you need. What is their person feeling about them? Okay. So we've got a little bit of jealousy stepping forward first and foremost. Um, they are feeling a little bit worried about this situation, that they might have pushed you, I just got a song, um, I pushed you further than you thought you'd ever want to go, uh, God of Wine, Third Eye Blind, um, there's a song, just that specific lyric, it doesn't have to be the whole song, unless the song resonates with you. Um, so they feel that at the moment they might have pushed you a little bit farther than what they wanted you to go. There is this jealousy energy coming up, they're wondering, um, have they lost you? Is there a chance that this can work out? Um, that they're still thinking about you if you guys aren't in contact, that they are really missing you and that they are wanting to re-establish this connection. And again, we can see this with this communication or establish the communi or establish communication with you if this is someone that you've just met. They are holding on to all of their ones at this moment in time. And what Spirit are saying by that is that they haven't really allowed you into their heart at the moment. They've been, again, erring on the side of caution with it. Reason for that is because they don't want to come over as vulnerable. Um, they don't really want to just say, oh, you know what? I have these really, really strong emotions for you. Let's see what happens between the two of us. Because if they do that, these emotions really do take over and they know they have to do something over the situation. But the fear of losing you and the fear of you moving on and the fear of you being in this kind of queen of wands energy, queen of swords energy, rather than this kind of needy, clingy queen of courts. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. Um, is what is really drawing them to your attention, like really drawing their attention to you. So you are very much at the forefront of their mind. They might have been a bit of an asshole in the past, but now they are debating what to do over the situation. And the thing that is key is this communication stepping forward. They have spent some time working out what they want. They are feeling in a lot more stable and secure position than they have done before. 
So before, if you guys have been in contact and it all went peak tongue, they know that they didn't handle the situation great. There is an element of regret and remorse with that because they've realised now what life is like without you and that they want to come back to you, communicate with you, and they're panicking that you've moved on. They're panicking that you moved away from the situation. And also, I just got uh, Too Little Too Late. I can't remember who sang that, but they're worrying that perhaps they've left it too little too late. OK, wanting to communicate, wanting to bring this connection forward with you guys. So from there, we have the nine of cups. So your person uh, and their emotions towards you, you've got this jealousy, you've got this regret, you've got this remorse, you've got this, I want this to work out. And they've got hope as well. They've got a lot of hope um, that this is something that can come forward. Now, it's really interesting over here. We have the snake at the bottom. Again, in Lenormand, the snake is a kind of a sign of deception. The fox can sometimes, you know, they, they hide away from their emotions, they hide away from their feelings, they deceive themselves. But the snake is this kind of card of deception and they're a little bit worried that you know they've been lying to themselves for so long that again is it too little too late and they have this panic in their heart really feel this like clear sentiment panic coming through my heart that oh my god maybe maybe I've really really messed this up so if you've been waiting for your person or you want to see what happens with them there's a good indicator here that this is going to be progressing into your favor their feelings for you are very real they do deeply care for you uh, but they know that they haven't handled the situation very well between the two of you they, as all, there is also a reflection happening here, Spirit is saying, so this is coming down to more of a twin flame connection between you guys potentially or a higher vibrational soulmates that you guys are echoing and mirroring. Um, so now that they are going to return to you with this open form of communication and potential for commitment, whether this is going to be something that you want as the energies change, they switch. Um, I just saw a clairvoyant of the scales of justice as the the energy kind of mirrors around and turns over. So you have this, um, I want this connection to work. I want to be with you. I want to see what happens between us. I've worked out what it is that I want and I don't can't really afford to let you go. I want this to come and work out between the two of us. From there, we have the Six of Swords. So again, your person has took time away from the situation. They've tried to gain um, perspective on it all spirit is saying they've been going in they've been internalizing trying to gain perspective on it um what they did think was they might be able to push all these emotions under the carpet but the longer it's been left the more they've realized that they can't do that that they want this to work out between the two of you and they want this connection to rebond rekindle and reignite spirit are saying so all three elements of that again they're looking to the past about how they treated you and thinking shit really didn't handle this right i thought there were plenty more fish in the sea and now that i've tried to explore all these different options and different fishes I've realized that these fishes aren't good for me I want to go back to my initial fish i.e you so if they haven't met anyone if you were worrying that they're dating and things like that it's kind of irrelevant because whoever they might have been meeting is not important it's not important because they are still in your energy they you still hold their heart they've just been in denial over it for such a long time and through that denial, this realisation is now hitting them. Spirit is saying it's kind of hitting them like a hole in the head. They weren't expecting it to come back and bounce on them the way it has. They thought, no, this is a situation that I can easily resolve. I can easily get over. I will just keep moving forward with my life. But they weren't expecting the kind of lashback that it's had on them now and that their emotions are so deep and running so true that they don't know how to handle it. And coming forward is their next move. OK, from that we have your victory okay so you have your six of ones your victory your person stepping towards you offering it you your commitment communication giving you what it is that you want with that once again spirit are saying do be wary of false promises okay so it's all looking really good it's all looking really positive their emotions for you are really real but there is just this element that it could be false promises so again do keep on your guard with it do keep um your wits about you pay attention to their actions and not their words spirit are saying so you can have absolutely everything you want because they want it with you but with over here even with your nine of cups you have the snake at the bottom so there's just this little bit of potential over here that they could be telling you what you want to hear to kind of get the situation moving because they've missed you they want to see if you're still there you want they want to see if you're still waiting for them or if this is something that you still want to progress with so their emotions for you are really true 
but they're just very good at kind of masking them, hiding from them, uh, very strong feelings. And again, this communication, this commitment coming forward very, very strongly, but you just need to keep your wits about you. The potential here for the two of you to be in a relationship is really good. For this to work out between the two of you, it is really, really promising. It is really good. And your person's emotions for you, like Spirit just said, are very real and they're very true. Um, I just got another song for you. God, you can start a playlist from this today. If you, be, uh, There will be miracles if you believe. Uh, was that Mariah Carey, I want to say? Um, so looking towards one another, looking at this more divine connection between the two of you, you know, knowing what they want, and this very strong card of victory is being assured, but you've just got to be careful, okay? Pay attention to your person's actions and not their words. The love is strong. The love is really strong. They had to, um, I just got another song. I just got lose you uh, to love me. That is for you guys. Your person has had to lose you or go away for a little bit to realize um, that they actually want to be with you. And for you guys to realize that there is this element of self love that you need to keep putting on yourself to move yourself forward. So their emotions for you, yeah, they're strong, they're real. Um, but you just please just err on the side of caution, this fox. And this snake give me a little bit of a worry, a little bit of a concern. Um, so just keep your wits about you because you can get everything you want from this. But the, these are a warning here to just err on the side of caution. Okay. And that is deck number one. If you need me, as I said, turnaround time is down. Uh, just drop me an email. Uh, I'll put all the details in the description for you. Deck number one. Love you all to pieces. Have a really good week and I will speak to you soon. God bless angels. Okay, guys, deck number two. So what I'm going to do is what I did with the first deck. We're going to start off with your Lenoma. Uh, sexiest word, I think, in the wheels. Lenoma, you know. Um, so what we're going to do, pull five cards on your Lenoma just to see what their feelings are. Lenoma are very blunt. They are very direct and they give us very, very direct answers. I use them a lot on the email readings I do for you guys. Not that you'd know that. I use the Tarot and the Lenoma. Uh, but if we need blunt and direct answers, these are the ones that we would go to. We being me and my guides, I always say we. If you ever think, oh, it's just Ali, no, it's we, it's always we. Even on my website, it says we, uh, because I'm always with my guides, so we, we work together, you know. Okay, so what are their people feeling about those watching? One, what are they feeling? Two, three, okay, okay, okay. Four, what are they feeling about the people watching? Five, oh, you got a fox as well. Deck number one also got a fox. Okay, so the first thing let's talk about with your person's emotions for you, we have mice, okay? So you might be feeling, your person is currently feeling that they have stolen away with the situation. Um, at the moment, they're viewing it as the right choice. So it might be that the things have gone a little bit peeped on, they've gone a bit crappy, your person's ghosted, they've vanished into the sunset, whatever your individual circumstances are, your person is feeling at this moment in time that they have just kind of got away with the situation and maybe vanished into the sunset. Now that's not all of you. For the rest of you guys, you might be feeling that the situation is under your feet and it is running away with you, okay? So you guys are feeling that the situation is running away with you. Your person is also feeling the same, that they are running away with the situation, that it's quite weighted down um, and quite heavy. So this running away is quite a supportive energy, okay? I know that sounds a bit contradictory, but you have this running away and you have this stability coming forward. So whichever way you look at it, the two of you guys are split into two groups. You've got your person ghosting you and is okay with that decision at the moment. And if you're not being ghosted or, or you and you are in contact, this is talking that the situation is running away with them um, and they're actually feeling quite happy about it. Okay, that they are feeling quite successful in that energy. So you're split your split. When we say the situation is running away with them, what we mean is that they're kind of going with the flow of it, that they are acknowledging where they are at, where things are heading for them um, and for, for you as well. And you have your victory kind of coming through here. This is the best card in Lenorma. Okay, the best one. W winner of the game of hope. Okay, so wherever you are at the moment, at this moment in time with your person, there is definitely this feeling of stealing or being stolen or things not quite working, well, either working out or that the situation is very intense and it's being run away with, 
okay now through that you guys again split into two the situation has either come to a close temporarily with you guys and your person might be feeling successful about that if it isn't that case your person is thinking where you guys are at the moment you have this success that all the shit that happened in the past has now come to an end and again you guys are very split in your lenoma so you've got 50 percent of you one situation, 50% of you, the other. So you have this kind of successful energy, um, whichever way you're kind of looking at it, your person's either being very stubborn and thinking, no, it's for the best, or that all the crap that's happened with you guys has now come to a close. Now, through that closing, we have a very strong sexual energy coming forward where you guys are meeting in the middle. So where you've split in this Lenoma, you're coming back together, if that makes sense. You have a very strong sexual energy coming forward. So you could be at the end of a sexual a relationship wanting something a little bit more or that this is new chapters new embarkment spirit is saying um embarking in a new chapter with your person where they're going to be offering you a lot more peace and tranquility and calmness but also with this deal of sensuality so sensuality is being brought into this this is a very um physical relationship happening between the two of you. Now, through that physicality, you might need to just, again, err on the side of caution. I said this in deck number one with your person. They might be kind of telling you what you want to hear so that you can end up in bed with them or that there is like deeper underlying emotions and they are in denial of it, okay? So they could just be hiding behind their emotions. Um, there is a potential here that your person is playing games for debt number two. So you do just need to be careful. Please be careful with it. Um, there is success in this, but it's not assured. Okay. So you can, you're probably going to feel like you're riding a roller coaster. That you're going a little bit backwards, a little bit forwards, a little bit up, a little bit down, and um, that they're not talking to you about their emotions or they're telling you something and then running away from it again. And you're going to be feeling really mixed up in what's actually happening. Are they playing games with me? Are they a player? Um, are they this knight of wands energy and not committing to me because they want one thing or they want another thing? Um, again, either way you look at it, whether you guys have come to a close or whether they are running away with the emotion side of things, it's all kind of leading back to the same pathway, leading back to the same route that this connection has got emotions, it has got these deep feelings, um, but it's very much erring on the side of caution because they're not confessing to you how they are feeling, they're masking it, they're really masking it. Okay, so that is where their initial feelings are coming forward. Right, let's do your tarot. Get me into deck number two's energy. I love this deck. They've kind of faded a little bit now. Um, they used to be so shiny and sparkly, but I've used them that many times that the colours on them are fading a bit. Deck number two's energy. Can you get me into deck number two's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Okay, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of that number dois. Number dois. My best Portuguese. Okay, let's do this. Right, can you tell me, please, what are they feeling about the people watching? I had to get my head on them. What are they feeling? Okay, okay, okay. What are they feeling? Three. What are the people feeling about those watching? Okay, I just got Under the Bridge Downtown. Uh, no, I didn't. The actual song, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's coming forward uh, quite clearly. So your person is feeling stuck. They are feeling stuck. And again, coming up and echoing with the Lenoma, you have this element of deception happening. So your person is lying to themselves about their emotions. They are lying to themselves about their feelings. They are pretending that they can move on from the situation, that they don't need you, that everything is fine without you. But it's definitely this sense of denial coming forward. It's possible that you guys have had a breakup um, and they are trying to move forward with their life, trying to get on with their life. Um, but it's not as easy as what they think. They will pretend, if you guys are in communication, they will pretend to you that everything is okay. They might sugarcoat some of the stuff they're saying and saying, oh yeah, you know what? I am so good. Everything's great. I'm working really hard. I'm so happy with my life. 
it's all a load of bollocks, they don't actually mean it, um, but they are having this denial with themselves, there is this sense of deception, they're very good as a whole, your people watching, uh, your people are very good at telling you what they think is going to piss you off, because they want to push your buttons a little bit, and they want to push up your buttons to see how you feel about them, to see if you still care about them. So they might say some things that seem a bit underhanded, a little bit shitty, a little bit, oh my God, ow, give me whiplash, we're going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. Um, but it's because they have this sense of denial over the relationship with you. And it's making them feel stuck. It's making them feel really, really trapped. They are trying to process it all at this moment in time and come to a point where they are having enlightenment. But again, if we look at the Lenoma and the mice kind of coming forward, this is talking about them running away with the situation, either running away from the situation with you or letting the situation run away with them and they're getting carried away by it. So again, split into two. But either way, you have this sense of deception coming forward. This need to wear a mask in front of you. They aren't allowing you into their emotions at this moment in time um, because they have, again, this mask on. I just saw a clairvoyant image of uh, the bear, a bear with the, a mask on. They, some, perhaps you guys, your people might be a little bit narcissistic or something along those lines, but they are also wearing a mask, okay? So they're not allowing you to get into the full center of their heart. They're trying to see what they can get away with, essentially. Again, with the mice, they're trying to see what they can get away with. So they've made a choice on this situation. You've got three major arcana out of the five cards. You've got three major arcana. So this is massive. You know, this is a massive deal. Um, they've made a choice on the situation. Again, potentially you might feel that the situation has come to a close, either coming to a close of where you currently are or coming to a close as a whole and ready for the next chapter. So they are feeling that the situation at the moment, they're making a choice on it. Um, that they're trying to leave everything that's happened in the past behind and focusing on moving towards a future, okay? Whether a future with you or moving themselves into their own individual future. They are grieving this situation and there is a sense of loss. So they've got their mask on, but they are also feeling quite sad over everything that has happened. They know that they've buggered up. Spirit is saying they know that they made these bad choices, they made these bad decisions and they hurt you. They do know that. Um, and this is something Spirit is saying that's going to eat away at them. And again, coming back to the mice, it's something that is going to be nibbling at them, eating away at them, and that they are trying to come to some form of resolve in this stagnant energy that is around them. So you might feel that they're not doing anything about the situation at the moment, but what they are doing is they're letting their thoughts nibble away at them as they kind of work out what they've done over the situation. They've made a choice on it. Is it the right choice? This is something that they are unsure about and that they are potentially regretting or soon to be regretting. And I just heard two weeks. So if your person is not in contact with you and you're waiting for them to come back towards you, um, this feeling of regret is really going to hit up in the next two weeks. OK, really hit up. You are still at the back of their mind with the devil popping forward. There's a definite kind of addiction energy between the two of you. If your person has buggered off and you think they're never gonna come back to you, please discount that. Because if they've come back to you before, they will come back to you again. The devil is always kind of lurking in the background. You are their devil, okay? Don't take that the wrong way, but you are their devil. What we mean by that is, again, always kind of lurking in the background, always there. I just got dance with the devil. Uh, the song, that song came forward. They are still in the background, okay? So if you think that they've vanished into the sunset and never coming back, they, they haven't. They are still there. But we have this addiction energy coming forward. Potentially alcohol issues drug issues, uh, any kind of addiction energy coming forward, but equally the addiction to you. So whereas they can mask these emotions and they can hide behind these emotions and they can let these emotions eat away at them, um, they still want to get their fix from you and wanting to get their fix from you is going to provide this communication or talking things through, stepping forward. But you might be feeling that you're going to be met with a brick wall when that happens. They're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to see what's happening with you. Again, with the devil card in the background, they're going to want all of that. Um, but at the same time, with their, their mask and how they are perceiving the situation, they are probably just going to be a bit of an asshole. So just be prepared for that. Okay, 
And this is kind of another reason why you might feel that they're playing games with you. You might feel that maybe they're just after a bit of sex or maybe they're not giving you what you want. Um, your person is quite messed up in this situation. Their head is really, really everywhere. They're not sure what they're doing. Um, their heart-centered emotions. Spirit is saying if you visualize a chord from your heart to your person's heart, let me just see what color to flood down at. Um, what color? Wait, that won't work. These are red, that won't work. These are white and grey. What colour cord should they flood down the heart chakra? Try and ease the energy a little bit because it's very intense. You might be feeling a little bit sick, a little bit anxious, a little bit nervous, a little bit unsure. Yeah. Okay, so what you need to do is we need to create grounding with this situation. So if you want to visualise um, your person sitting in front of you, see your heart centre to their heart centre, the cord attached in the two of you, put down like a brownie colour, a green colour, create a grounded situation with this. There is a lot of... Um, difficulties with the relationship that you have with your person if you do that it's just going to kind of ease the tension off you guys a little bit okay so flooding the heart chakra with a very stabilized energy of green and brown will be really beneficial to you guys um potential fair parties going on in deck number two as well if they've let you down and they've tried to move on with the situation they are very, very messed up with how they are feeling and they're trying to get it all together. They're trying to work through it all. Um, there is a lot of dark nights of the soul going on with your person, spirit is saying as well. Um, and through that, again, they're feeling very, very lost, a sense of depression, a sense of loneliness, heaviness, sadness, all around them, that they've made some serious mistakes, but they don't know how to let you into their heart. So they are blocking it at this moment in time. Okay, they are blocking those emotions and acknowledging that it's more of a sexual energy. Okay, that is what they're trying to acknowledge. Now, the sexual energy that they are acknowledging is actually covering up their emotions for you. If they talk about sex and they act on sex, then they don't have to talk about emotions and therefore it makes their life a lot easier. So if you are in contact and you're thinking, oh, it's just a sexy relationship, their emotions for you are still running deep, but they're just very good at hiding away from them and acting on the more sensuality side of things. And this is why you will feel that they are playing games with you. Okay, this is why you will feel they are playing games with you. So their feelings for you, let's talk about their feelings for you. At the moment, they are masking them all and hiding away from them. There are emotions here with the Game of Hope card, the, the top card over here. There are emotions for you, but at this point in time, they're feeling that they've made the right decision, but and there's a little bit of a regret and remorse that is coming from that. Uh, from there, they are going to be really analysing what they want, analysing the situation, hitting this period of enlightenment. They're not just going to vanish into the sunset. They will come back towards you, um, working out what it is that they want from this situation. Spirit is saying chaos, working out what they want in this period of chaos you guys again focus on yourselves focus on um what you're doing there's a really good book by a guy called brian knox which would be really beneficial to you guys if you're not sure what to do about the situation please excuse my swearing now because it is the book title but it's fuck him nice girls always finish single just to get you into that power-based energy so that you can kind of stop them playing this manipulative calculating game with you they aren't necessarily meaning to do it. They're not meaning to be manipulating and calculating and nasty and things like that, but they're just not sure how to handle the intensity of the emotions. If you've been chasing them, please stop. Let them come to you because you're going to end up backing them into a corner and this is where potentially they could snap. OK, so do err on the side of caution with your person. Just be a little bit wary of what's going on. Um, Try not to give them everything they want. You try and keep in your power so you are the one in control. Remember, the only man you should ever chase after is the ice cream man. That's what my gran always used to say. Um, so keeping that power-based energy. You are niggling at their thoughts, okay? They are thinking all through. You are niggling at their thoughts. Um, at this moment in time, you kind of have niggling is this successful energy because you, they can't get you out of their mind. Um, but they're very good at hiding away from it, doubting it, putting it to the back of their mind, um, focusing more on the sexual side of energy, focusing on the sex energy that comes up between the two of you. And through that, you have this sense of denial about their emotions for you because like an ostrich, they can bury their head in the sand. 
and just pretend there's not a problem. Spirit just also clairvoyantly showed me a hedgehog going into hibernation. They hibernate from the situation for a little while. You might feel it backtracks, goes backward and forward. As they go into this period of hibernation, they will always come back out. And with you being in the background with the devil card, not calling you that, but <laughs> dancing, you know, that it's an addiction energy. They're not going to be able to shake it very easily. They will come back towards you. Um, their emotions for you are there, but they like the chase, they like the fight, they like the tension, they like the chaos. They thrive in the chaos between the two of you. And then to a certain extent, you guys like the chaos too, because it keeps you on your toes, okay? Not all of you, but some of you, okay? That chaotic energy coming forward. Um, they will return. They're just, you know, if they, however your situation is unfurled, whatever's happened between the individual two of you, um, this situation is not over. In fact, you're very much in the midst of it, right in the middle of it all. Um, there is going to be more to this situation as it comes up. Their feelings for you are real, but they're just very, very hidden. Very, very hidden. So keep your wits about you. Be strong, be sensible. Throw that heart energy, that grounding energy is really needed in this connection for them to realise um, what they're actually doing very much in a sense of denial over it all at the moment but their emotions they are there but they're very very hidden very very hidden um so if you need me just drop me an email uh, i'll put all the details in the description websites up and running if you want to go have a look at it um okay guys i am sending you tons of love Try not to be too bogged down and upset about deck number two and the energy that's coming from it. As always, Spirit, I say it's what you need to know, not what you want to know. And I know it's quite a chaotic energy coming up from you guys. It's by no means over. But there is this chaos that is ensuring, 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 whatever the word is, Spirit, I say, around you guys at this moment in time. So just be sensible and look after yourselves, okay? Read those book, read that book. It will be really, really beneficial to you. Okay, guys, tons of love to you. Look after yourself and I'll speak to you soon. God bless, angels.